In this episode, we're going to be going over uh, something that we should have done a long time ago, quite very, very honestly. Long time ago. Uh, and that is our net worth. Hey, Wealth Builders. Welcome back to another episode of The Bemuse. I'm Misha. And I'm Akiva. And on this channel, we talk about all things personal finance for young adults just like you and us. Uh, you guys know if you've been following our channel for uh, a long time now, you know that we do these quarterly. We're coming up to, honestly, the end of another quarter, but we're going to get the video out. And without further ado, we're going to just dive right in and not waste too much of your time. So as usual, we're going to be jumping into our balance sheet, going through all of our assets, all of our liabilities. This time around, there are some interesting changes that have been made to how our balance sheet usually looks. So obviously, this is the first net worth update that we are putting out since we've been married. We got married toward the beginning of October. And so we basically condensed everything. Before, we used to have a his and hers column, essentially, where we tracked my net worth separate from Mishak's net worth. But given the circumstances and everything, you know, how everything's going on, merging finances, or at least, you know, at that point at 9.30, we had already started implementing plans to merge finances. We just thought it made a lot more sense for us to just show one consolidated balance sheet with all of our assets, all of our liabilities as they are now as a married couple. So that is one major change to what you're gonna see in this quarter's net worth update, as well as the fact that obviously we bought a house recently. So that's something new that you're gonna see the repercussions of that on our net worth. All right, so first let's go over assets. So for assets, uh, the total cash or money market that we had available as of uh, September 30th? September 30th. Is September 30th yes. was $58,551. Liquid investments and retirement plans, we had $37,657 for our house. The estimated value at that time, or I guess what we paid that's for. That's just what we paid for yeah, it. What so that's what we put as the market value. Was $242,000 even. Then under personal property, we have uh, both of our vehicles. Again, in the past, this was separated, but you're seeing the combined uh, total that we Kiva has estimated these cars to be based off of market research. Uh, so we have, for both her car and my car, the value at $9,670. And then for personal business property, um, that $500 that you've seen pretty much throughout um, all of our videos, and just as a refresh, that is what we value the equipment that we use if we were to sell it today, what we'd be able to get for it. Yep. All right. So that brings our total assets to $348,378. Yep. Ooh, sounds like a big number. But let's hop on down to the liabilities section where things always get interesting. So for our liabilities, of course, now our largest liability is our mortgage. Woohoo! So as of the end of September, we had a mortgage of $231,917. So at that point, essentially, our equity in the house was our down payment, as well as the first, we had one month's worth of mortgage payments by the end of September. We had our first mortgage payment due September 1st. So a little tiny, itty bitty bit of equity, a few hundred dollars, plus our down payments, essentially the equity we have in our home right now. Then we have our credit cards. So between Meshach and myself, we have, I think, eight credit cards? Yes, eight credit cards between the two of us. And so, and for those of you who are new, this might be your first net worth update. We do not carry credit card debt. This is just what happens to be the balance on our credit cards as of September 30th. We always pay off our credit cards in full on time every month. But what happened to be on our credit cards that day was $2,173 dollars which is actually pretty high for us but of course by that point we had a lot of kind of pre-wedding spending a lot of things going on so our credit card balances were a little bit higher than they usually are then of course we have our second largest debt which is our student loans and our student loan balance combined between the both of us was a hundred and sixty four thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars so our total liabilities amount to three hundred ninety eight thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars so our net worth of course our liabilities right now are greater than our assets so our total net worth combined is negative forty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety seven dollars so just below negative 50k 
So now let's go to our change in net worth slide and we'll see how that compares to where we were last quarter. Let's see if we progressed, if we fell back, let's see where we are in relation. Because this number in and of itself, of course it's negative, but we want to know how, where are we trending? Where are we going? Are we making progress? Because our goal here on this channel is of course, we're the wealth builders. We want to make sure that we're building wealth. So even an increase from negative 51 to negative 50 is building wealth because we are increasing our net worth along the way. So let's hop over to that side. We'll talk about some of the relevant changes that happened over the quarter and how that affected the change in our net worth. So we're going to start with our assets. So first, let's take a look at cash. So we see that from June 30 to September 30th, that we had a decrease in cash totaling $13,116 for a percent change of 18%. So the cause of that huge amount in cash that left uh, our accounts was due to the purchase of the home, obviously the down payment, as well as those wedding spendings because we did get married towards the beginning of October. So that is where that comes in. Yeah, and most of it is the home purchase because as you guys know, if you watched the video where we detailed literally every single number and penny that we paid for this house, you'll know that our down payment was almost $10,000. So of that 13,000, about 10,000 was just the home purchase. So of course cash left our accounts and went into the equity of our home. Next, we'll go on to liquid investments and retirement plans. So we see that there was actually a positive change. So we contributed between the both of us this quarter to our retirement plans a total of $3,288.10. But there was an increase of $5,624, which means that the rest of that, that extra $2,000 plus dollars was market gains. So next, we're going to move on to the home. So for the home, obviously that was a positive change of uh, 242,000 that was also listed on the assets for the balance sheet. Next, we're gonna move on to personal property. Um, and for personal property, we have uh, our cars. So we saw a positive change of $120 uh, in that increase in value. So that was a 1% increase. Which is weird. These car values, you know, cars are typically depreciating assets. Over the past few quarters, I've seen that our car values on average have started to trickle up a little bit, which is an interesting change to see. But you know, I ain't complaining. This is what the internet told me. This is what it's worth. So that's what I'm reporting. And that personal business property line has remained static pretty, pretty much forever. Um, at $500, so there is no change there. So total assets, uh, we see that uh, ending June, we had $113,750. End of September, we had $348,378. So that is an uh, increase in dollars to $234,634. $234, $628, that is a 206% increase or change. Yeah, just because of the house, of course, it's a big number. It's going to double our assets, essentially. So now down to our liabilities. Of course, at the end of June, we didn't have a mortgage. Now we have a mortgage. So that is, again, $231,917. Our credit cards, like I said, a little bit higher than usual. We had $1,156 more on our credit cards as of the end of September than we did at the end of June. Um, and that's primarily due to wedding spending, like I said before. And then our student loans, we actually made a little bit of progress. And by we, I mean Mishak, because I haven't been paying on my student loans during this forbearance. But Mishak has continued to make some payments on his. So from June until now, we experienced a decrease of $750. And literally that translated said not even a full percent, as you can see. Um, but Mishak has continued to make some payments on his loans so far. And pretty soon we're going to be coming out with a video as to exactly what we're trying to do with our student loans going forward. So stay tuned for that because that would be an exciting video to see what's coming up next for us. So our total liabilities increased by $232,323. Of course, that's primarily due to the mortgage, and so it just looks like a really big negative number. Our liabilities increased 140%. But let's look at the bottom line, net worth. Did we go up? Did we go down? How did we do this quarter? At the end of June, we were at negative 52,000. Now we're at, like I said, just under negative 50. So we have increased our net worth overall by $2,305 over this quarter, which is an increase of 4%, which we are very happy with considering the fact that we had all this stuff going on. We had a house, we had a wedding. Originally, 
Last quarter, we had anticipated that we would have seen a big decrease in our net worth this quarter because we would have finished doing all of our wedding spend, but it turns out we actually did a lot of wedding spend in that first week of October. I think I estimated we spent maybe about, honestly, close to 10 grand that first week of October. So I think next quarter will kind of be the true test of how the wedding spending really affected our net worth. So stay tuned for that because that'll be another in what? No, probably not because of the gifts and everything. But then I mean, we, we still immediately spent it, spent it on most of it, furniture. Yeah. So, exactly. It's a lot happening in Q4 as well. We had a wedding, we spent a lot of money, we got money in gifts, spent money on furniture, we got a whole house to furnish y'all. So, there's a lot happening. Um, we have some plans with regard to our student loans, what we're going to do, there's a lot happening in Q4. So that's going to be a very, very interesting net worth update as of next quarter. Also next quarter makes two full years since we've been tracking our net worth. So we'll also do kind of a flashback in time, really see the progress we've made over the past two years as well. So that'll be fun to see, at least fun for me at least to see. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna have fun looking at that and just to see the progress that we've made. Because I think we've made positive progress every quarter though, since we've tracked our net worth. So that'll be fun to see where we started and kind of where we are now and what progress we're able to make or not maybe by the end of next quarter. Yeah, so if you haven't done so already, uh, we've been mentioning throughout this video that we got married. You should definitely check out our wedding trailer that was posted uh, and hopefully you enjoy that. Um, but like normal, if you have any comments about our net worth, don't forget to leave that down below. We'd love to hear what you think, um, your opinions. How are you How are you doing? Are you tracking your net worth? Have we inspired you to do something like this? We want to hear about it. Um, so, Also, that reminds me, you guys keep asking for this net worth template, and I keep not giving it to you. And I am sorry, but I'm saying this on camera now, so you guys hold me to it. Next quarter, I'm going to have a template for you guys to download. I promise. And if I don't have it, y'all can crucify me in the comments. But that's my public accountability that I'm going to get it together, and y'all will have that net worth template download for the next time that we do this. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss when we post new content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Welcome back to another episode of The Bemuse. My name is Meshach. That's not how our intro starts. So how does it start? Hey, wealth builders. You can even greet the people.